Okay, so what's your body count? <laughs> um, I don't want to say that on the internet. You don't? No. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Okay, so um, would you F me, though? Yeah, you're my boyfriend. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. You would? Yeah, I, I would. You're literally my boyfriend, so. Oh. I would. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I'm reconsidering the whole thing. But. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, so that's going to be the general gist of the videos that we watched today, sort of. Also, I'm sorry for the audio if you hear a chainsaw type sound in the background. There has been a chainsaw murderer walking around these parts, so that's probably what that is. Just ignore it. Today, we're going to watch uh, videos of guys interviewing girls in public and hitting on them at the same time. This used to be very common on YouTube. I don't know if you remember the That's Cringe we did with Jack Manley, uh, who has an OnlyFans now, by the way. And then um, uh, Nerd Baller TV, remember him? <laughs> remember that guy? Yeah, that was a cool guy. He does porn on Patreon now. Well, now that same sort of stuff is uh, growing on TikTok, like everything else. We've talked about that. And just a warning before we get into this, it is super hard to watch. It's tough. It's a toughie. It really is. Maybe I'm just a beta male, but <laughs> really, the, most of the stuff is pretty brutal. Okay, let's do it. Do you have a boyfriend? I'm engaged. You're engaged. Yes. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be honest, I feel bad for the guy, though. <laughs> Not because you're not beautiful. It's just, personally, guys, marriage is a trap. It's not. If you're a guy. Lying. He's lying. No, if you're a girl, definitely get married. Totally in your favor. <laughs> if you're a guy, run. I was actually engaged about a year ago. Oh, and what happened? I dumped her. Oh, no. Why? Because because she, she just wanted to keep having threesomes with me with girls. It was really weird. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah I, you, you, know, you know what I mean? Have you ever, no. you ever had that? No. <laughs> I have not. <laughs> yeah. She was like addicted to sleeping with other women until I started to really like it a lot. And then I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to do this by myself. Um, anyway. Oh. Ooh, tears of cringe right there. That is how you get women, ladies and gentlemen, right there. You insult their recent decision to commit to something for the rest of their life, and then you be condescending, and then you brag about how much sex you're definitely having. Oh no, you getting married, that would be fine, because you're, yeah, you're a woman. But like, for a, you know, for a sex-having guy like me, you know, libido through the roof, fucking all the time, it just doesn't work. I mean, it's, you know, it's like a dated system for, for you know, dudes like me, who like to spread the seed, if you know what I'm saying. You know, if I could get married to, to three chicks, I would, because then we could have threesomes all the time, but then you think when the fourth comes in and then she would get jealous and the whole thing just doesn't work. It doesn't hold up. Look at her face. Look at how uncomfortable she is during this entire thing. Like, look at her, look at how she just wants out of this. <laughs> She's just like, I just want to go to work. Okay, small pickup man, I want to go to work. Also, by the way, just as a side note, did you see that kid hop that three set in the middle of the video? Watch this. Girl, definitely get married. Totally. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? Play that again. Oh, look at that, dude. He hopped that three set. He knew he was on camera, too. Look at his face right there. He's like, fuck yeah. Fuck that, yeah. Fuck your video. Check this. Check the X Games shit going on back here. I would never get married because I'm married to adrenaline. Mm. Okay, let's move on. Do you like anal? Anal? No, it really hurts. So you tried it? Yeah. How many times? A few, but not, it hurts every time. Every time? So what's your favorite position? Or what do you mm, like? Honestly... Why are you holding her like that, dude? Why are you holding on to her? <laughs> That's so weird. I hate it. I hate it. I don't know what it's called, but from the side more so. Side? I, yeah, I don't know what it's called, though. Okay, side. Size, the size. Decide. Being on top is kind of hard. Your legs get hurt. Do you want to try with me? With you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just met you. Maybe on the. Maybe. Maybe on the second hangout. Maybe on the second hangout. Second yeah, hangout. yeah. Okay. Perfect. Oh, oh man. This is the this is a good example of like the formula that all these videos follow. They ask a dirty question, and then they have no idea how to respond, because. They don't think that far ahead. They just think, oh, well, I just asked them if they like anal. That's enough for some good content. But then the girl responds, and then they're like, all right, I'm just going to let my charm do my thing. And by charm, I mean they just say damn 
or they repeat what she just said in a, in a different tone. <laughs> he went, what's your favorite position? She's like, the, the from the side, and he's like, damn, from the side? Yeah, that's what she just said. <laughs> oh, the cringe is very strong, but you're in though, dude, you're in. She said, I don't know. I don't know. Not because she felt awkward or like super confronted by the fact that you're literally holding onto her arm so she can't leave. It's, she probably said that because she, there's really a chance she might want to F you. Oh. You know, you might get to F her in the A. Yeah! That's a win in my books. Also, is this a Bluetooth speaker? What is he holding? Is that, is he like just amplifying her responses to everyone on the street? <laughs> Cause that would suck. You know, what's your thoughts about, you know, smooching on the first thing? I think smooching on the first date is overrated, and yeah, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't kiss on the first date? No. You don't do that? I don't do that. That's what she just said. That's what she just said. Can the guy kiss you then? When, we're, when he asked me to be his girlfriend. So that long? Yep. So that could be like three months? Could be. So no sex, no kiss? No, I'm not having sex till I'm married. Oh, you're a virgin? <laughs> Gotcha, bitch. All right, so we got, you know, a girl defined type girl here, which is bad news for this guy because he was thinking, fuck, I was going to ask her to kiss me at the end, <laughs> at the end of the interview. Fuck, what do I do now? I got to think of another ending. What the fuck do I say? My plan that works every time is thwarted by girl defined. I like the use of Dave Chappelle there at the end, too. That's a good substitution for not saying anything funny in real life. Say hi to my mom. What's what's up, mom? What's up, mom? What, what, what's what I met today. What's her name? Christina. <laughs> looks like the. Oh my god, you look like Christina Milia. You're like a younger, hotter no. version of her. Holy, really? Holy shit. I'm Jackie. Holy shit. I'm Jackie Chan's. Jackie younger, Chan. Younger cousin nephew. Look, I'm not supposed Dude, to what? take this outside, but I took it outside. Oh. You gotta. <laughs> Dude, you're such a rebel. Oh my god, dude. You're just like. The most badass girl I've ever met. I'm not. You snuck a drunk. Or it's snuck like, a drunk. You snuck a drink out of the club. Jackie. Jackie, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Why are you insinuating we're going home? I don't even know you. I'm you... like every mom's dream. <laughs> oh wow. Sure. I am. I'm not even kidding. Tell, tell me, what, what is it about you that moms just find irresistible? Everything. Okay. That's, that's like you go to a job interview. What are your skills? You're, don't get, get run up. You're like, my skills, everything. I'm just good my at everything. Oh my God, I said nagged at the end. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, at least this girl seems somewhat into it. Maybe because she's drinking. I don't know, that seems to be a common theme is that most of the girls that they pick are standing outside of bars, like right outside. And a lot of them are like really fucked up too, <laughs> which is pretty weird. But there's just something so disconcerting about these videos. I don't know. He's trying to he's trying to charm the girl, put on a show for his audience, and he's filming himself the whole time. Like imagine what that's like for her, some random dude coming up to you on like a, a bike and just being like, Yo, what's good? What's up? Say what's good. Say what's up to my my audience. They're gonna watch me try and fuck you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You know? I'm not against I'm not saying don't hit I'm not saying like don't try to get girls, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying this, I, this this content specifically, where people are trying to show off their like, skills about how much they don't care what they say to like random women in public, it just makes me want to curl up into a ball and die. Have you ever dated an Indian guy? No, not Would not you, there. would you? Yes, of course, if it's you. Do you want to be my girlfriend? Ooh, that's good. Wait, how old are you? I have like an age cutoff. My name. Oh, oh. Oh no, uh oh. Oh, where is he going with this? I'm not really feeling good about where this is gonna go. Oh, you're 20? That's perfect. So at 22, we gotta break up because that's too old. I only date girls 18 to 20 after that, I break up with them. Uh, my dude failed the vibe check. Okay, okay, sure, sure. Because you're gorgeous. You're yeah. super cute. Thank do you wanna you. kiss? Do you wanna kiss? Okay. Dude, oh my god, dude. <laughs> Smooth, yeah. Fuck yeah. Just be a giant dick and then ask her to kiss right afterwards. <laughs> yes! Dude, I only date up to age 22 because you guys age like yogurt, but do you want to make out with me right now? I mean, it worked. You got the smooch. Smooch acquired, baby. Throw that shit on TikTok. It's time to impress my audience of 10-year-old boys. What's your name? Kira. Kira, I'm Eric. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Too. How's your night going? It's pretty good. It's pretty good? Yeah. Yeah, all right. So, what do you have to offer me tonight? What do you want? Anything. I mean, I don't know. I want you. Oh, I mean, that's it. That's just a bad TikTok. 
That's what that is. If you're gonna go up and just like accost this random girl, at least, at least I wanna know what she said. Also, isn't what do you have to offer me like the worst pickup line you've ever heard? <laughs> what kind of offerings do you have for me, random woman? You owe me something because I am an alpha male and I approached you. Please present thy mouth for smooching. Looking for a girl? No, only tonight and only you. Only tonight and only me. That's right. But can I get your number real fast? Uh, you can get my snap. All right, I don't take Snapchats, bye. Oh, savage. Whoa, damn, dude. You don't give a fudging crap. You showed her, man. She's probably still thinking about you to this day. She's like, fuck, I should have given my number to that dude in the Patriot shirt. Why did I say Snapchat? So stupid. He clearly doesn't take Snapchats. Clearly. Megan, are we in love? No. How can I find love out here? Don't be a <laughs> Wow. Just posted his own L. She perfectly summarizes content. Do you like me? No. Why not? Because you're have a mic you're walking around with a microphone? It's weird. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe there's some people that like this content, but I hate it. And I'm not like, this isn't from a from a standpoint of like, you should be a nice guy. Buy every girl in public flowers. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying this content makes me feel bad in my tum tum. Like, I feel like asking drunk girls sexual questions on camera is a little bit shitty. Have you ever been cheated on? Of course, every girl has. Really? I'm sorry. That's okay. I mean, it's a part of life. It's a part of you learning. You His friend texted me, but I don't care. Oh. Goodbye. And the arm around makes me so uncomfortable, dude. She's like, she's ham sauced. You see how fucking drunk she was? She could barely say, yeah, it's just cheated on. Every girl has. Do you think I'm hot? You? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, I yes. hug? Can we hug? What about what? me? Can I hug you? Can you what? Can I hug you? Hug me? Come on, where's my hug? <laughs> Where you going? Damn, you're gonna take a dump without me? Come on. Don't give me that side hug. I need that full hug. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you know what they say. The side hug is like a friend. Full hug. She said sorry. I, I heard it. I heard her say sorry really quietly. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> ah, 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 cringe. Cringe, cringe, cringe. Don't give me that side hug, baby. Push your bot up against mine. I don't know you, but. All right, here's one from Manliness Maximized. Sick name. What's too big? Too big, from my point. It's like this. Have, have, you, have you experienced that? Yes, yes. You had to go to the hospital? No, never. No to the hospital from dick, no, never. Did you go to the hospital from a big dick? What are you, eight years old, dude? <laughs> you know women give birth, right? This is also a weird trend. A lot of these accounts will go to adult conventions and interview porn stars, but like play it off like it's pickup content. Dude, it's a porn star. It's their literal job at these conventions to be nice to you and make you feel horny. <laughs> Why do you feel like this is manliness maximized? This is like the easiest thing ever. Okay, and I didn't even want to include this last one because it's it's so bad. I don't even know if I'm gonna include it in the in the final edit. It's I don't know I don't even want to watch it again. I feel just bad putting this in the video because it's so bad. But it's he posted it right. I don't know. Nihama. 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 She speaks English. Who me? Yeah. yeah. Do. Yay. We're climbing down the mountain now. Hand in hand, yay. I love you. Best friends. Best lovers. Friends. Aw. I just lovers. get friend Jones. Aw. Yeah, I love you. Kiss. Yay. Mm -hmm. ah, got a kiss. I'm yay. You. Can I impregnate you? No, not yet. Okay. Well, I'm climbing the mountains, right? Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> what? What? What the fuck just happened, man? Did he really just say, I, I love you, first of all, and then she was like, uh, what? And he's like, we're lovers. And she's like, we're friends. And he's like, oh, I got friend zoned. Can, well, can I impregnate you? <laughs> what the f What? That's just bad game. Like, straight up. That, even if you weren't filming yourself, that would be just a horrible, horrible game. Can I impregnate you? I can't think of a worse pickup line than, can I impregnate you? Holy hell. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Make sure 
you go ahead and smash the like button just to prove that you got this far. Because I don't, I'd honestly be surprised if any of you made it through that amount of cringe. And uh, we'll see you next time. But wait before you go. Where's my kiss? Ha, come on. Where, where is it? Come on. No, don't give me the cheek kiss. That's for friends. Give me the real kiss. Fuck. <laughs>